Hello, Serge here from the Backyard Driving Range. Okay, I have a, I guess uh, what we have here is an In Your Own Words from a Sergeite. And as you know, I love those because they, uh, they're they coming from you, so they're probably going to have a different way of saying something that I've been saying that might help you out. So this comes to us from Mike, and I think it's M. Croc here, okay, Mike Croc, and he says, I've told a few of my golf friends about you, but they appear to be stuck in the old thinking, and he has old thinking in parentheses. A few years ago, I was playing terribly, and I was ready to quit. I came across your site via an advertisement, and have been happy ever since. Your tips are so fundamental that most people have a hard time believing them, and he puts in parentheses, I guess. Since I was at the bottom of my confidence I'm not enjoying, and not enjoying golf, I was willing to try anything that made sense and could help. I was amazed at how quickly I adjusted all the facets of my game and my game improved. It took me about a year to fully grasp and hone your, hone your techniques, but now I have in internalized them. I've won my after work golf league two out of the last three years and I'm very happy with the swing and results. I credit all my progress to your swing and teaching. All the best, keep it vertical, Mike. Well sometimes that's what has to happen to us. We have to get so down in the dumps, so bad, so just beat up that we might be willing to sp accept anything. All right, and, and that's, what's, that's where we are with peak performance. That, that was a good thing. They're stuck in the old thinking and, and they have a hard time believing it. Why? Because the world has just been pounded. There was a paradigm shift, as I've told you years ago, it, it, that, that it happened about 92 to 93, 94 at the latest, it was in it was, in. It was a complete paradigm shift from the old days where, where they, they made a big 90 degree turn, but they wanted to be up high and parallel, and at impact they were like this, and, and, and they were finishing more, they were finishing more level, except that we still had a, a hangover of a lot of reverse Cs, which caused some back problems. But, but when we had the paradigm shift to what they call the X factor, which is now termed the rotational swing, and then you got some of these other swings that evolve, that, uh, that are just as bad or worse, uh, with with the way they set up and swing and and they all want this forward shaft lean and impact and hitting down on the ball and 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 everything else the when that's all you hear about i mean you go listen to the tournament you don't ever you don't ever hear them compliment a vertical swinger and we're starting to see a few vertical ones in fact i'm starting to see a lot more vertical swings even on the pga tour it's still nowhere near what i'm really looking for but it, it's better that they're up here and the, and they and they got a better angle and, and the club is is somewhere up here but most of those people, what do I see in the finish? They're all still finishing way left. And that's why they're getting that, that problem of misses to the right and, and then pulls to the left every now and then. All right? And uh, so they're still playing more of a, in a baseball park rather than in a bowling alley. We want to play bowling alley golf. And you get that with golf because, with, with the vertical swing when you play golf, because why? Up, down, and straight back up. And that's the way God created our arms to turn. Our arms can only move in front of our bodies. That's all they can do is swing in front of our bodies. And when you start going around your body and trying to make a big turn, there's where the problems come in because the spine's not designed for a whole lot of turn, especially when you get down to the, to the L1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The L1, 2, 3, 4, 5 basically have no rotation. All the rotation in the spine is in the upper, is from, is from uh, the top ones. Once you get to the L1, 2, 5, 1 through 5, they're basically fused. And where does everybody who's really trying to make these big turns, where is everybody hurting? Like crazy, back here. And then eventually, when you start trying to you know, ease up on these, you, start, you can start developing all, all kinds of other problems throughout your neck and your upper back, too. Never mind your, never mind your, your, your forward knee when you, your, when you, with the big turn, you're, you're trying to snap it straight. And, and you, you can't help it, even if you're not trying to. When you turn your hip really fast, the hip going this way is going to pull the leg straight. And it's going to do what at that point? Pulling you across impact. So it's, even if you were dead square at impact, as you come across, the club is still sliding across the ball because you're pulling it that way with your body turning so fast that way. You're going to have a little bit of a glancing blow. So the thing you're fighting, and I'm sure many, many, many of you out there have tried to, have tried to get some of your friends to come to this and they just refuse. I know I've heard many of you say, and I'm always saying, look, I need help. <coughs> we need to find more pros that would be interested in learning peak performance so that they could, they could teach you closer to where you live. And, and I, what have I heard so many times? Well, uh, 
I, I'm a road, I teach rotation and uh, I don't want to teach that. I've had some of you say to me, well, I told, I told a person, I told a pro, well, uh, what do you got to lose learning this one? That way, if somebody like me comes up and says, I want you to teach me vertical, you can teach it. Now you can teach vertical and rotational. And, the beauty, and, and, and I'm gonna say, if you wanna say if there's anything that could be, that could be good about that, or, or the beauty of it could be, is that I think that once a guy start, if you could get somebody to do that, it ain't gonna take, it's not gonna take him very long to figure out that vertical's better, because he's gonna see so much quicker results, almost instant results, when he teaches vertical with his students versus the other ones. And, it, it, unless, and so, I mean, unless his eyes are closed and his brain's totally shut, it's gonna be hard for him not to change over, because, Every teacher that's, that's come, on, come in line with me and become a peak performance teacher, that's the one thing they just say. It's like, <laughs> teaching golf lessons now is easy. Boom, everybody gets better right from the first lesson. So this was a great, great comment and a great observation from Mike here, and I want to pass that on to you. Peak performance is simple to learn. It's easy to learn. It's easy on the body. It's the body-friendly golf swing because it's the only swing involved with physics and physiology that we marry together. All of you know it. All we got to do is work as a team and try to keep spreading the word. It's going to be, it's going to be, we're going to have to work hard, but it can do it. But whatever it is, don't let them sway you. And I don't think most of us ever get swayed because once you've found the swing, nobody's going to take it away from you. All right? So let's keep up our, let's keep up our, Vigilance to try to to try to get peak performance in a vertical swing uh, more the swing of choice Rather than a, than what that swing and uh, we do that and life will be easier for us because we won't have people thinking we're crazy and uh, ultimately The proof is in the pudding Get better for immediately your body feels better. You hit better shots Keep the ball in play and shoot lower scores. That's it for the search for today, and I'll be speaking with you all again soon